Someone left a comment on my YouTube page, and we need to talk about it. Recline. Okay, so this isn't really a ranting video, this is a discussing video. So, uh, I just don't have anywhere else to put it other than R&R, &R, so let's just call it a real synonym that begins with an R for talking. There isn't one. Okay, so we got this one guy who left a comment on my Divergent review, which, let me point out, I was rather happy with it. And to protect this guy's identity, we're not going to call him by his name. Even though, really, technically speaking, you could go to the video, you'll see the comment there, and you'll know who it is anyway. So let's go ahead and let's call him... Really, we're, we're going to bleep out his name? Seriously? What's this about protecting the guy's innocence? I mean, he, he's guilty, you put a comment. How dare he? How dare he put a comment on my channel? Okay, um, one moment. I got a way to fix this. Okay. There we go. We'll call him Red Squiggly. So Red Squiggly left a comment on my channel, and I'll go ahead and take a look at it. Of course, I took this comment very well. Now remember, this is for my Divergent review, which I did say, I believe, that I had not read the book. Well, not the most original, appears to at least be translatable into film pretty well. I don't know, I haven't read the book. Here is my response to this, Mr. Red Squiggly. Um, so? So what if I haven't read the book? That shouldn't really matter. The movie that's based on the book should be able to stand on its own without me having to say, oh, I don't understand that because I didn't read the book. Now, I don't know exactly what he was referring to when he said I didn't read the book, but yeah, I didn't read the book. Sue me. But a movie based off of source material needs to be able to stand on its own from that source material and still be a good movie on its own. It's not going to be a reiteration perfectly per se of what the book is about because that's impossible. A book is about 500 pages long in most cases. If you've got a 500 page book, you're not going to be able to get that out in a two and a half hour movie. Unless you're following the current trend of breaking up the last movie into two parts. In which case, goddamn you studios. Okay, I'm sorry, I know I said this was not going to be a rant, but I, I'm trying to limit that. Now granted, there are lots of movies that make great adaptations of books. First two Harry Potters. Well done. Harry Potter 3, Prisoner of Azkaban. In the book, they're very clear. Okay, you get kissed by the Dementors, drawing out your soul, you're going to die. There's never an actual explanation of what the Dementor's kiss is. Yeah. I dare you. Go look. And the reason that those first two Harry Potters are better than the others is because they explain. That's all it takes. Simple explanation saying, okay, this is why the world is this way. Because if you rely on the people who have read your book in order to understand you, you limit your audience. But there are some movie gems based off of stories that were written either as short stories or novels. The Shawshank Redemption. A short story. Phenomenal movie. Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings, their source material was vast. It was huge. They took what they needed out of it and they adapted it in a way that made an entertaining and great movie that could stand on its own. You did not have to read the books in order to understand what was going on. And then there's Twilight. Yeah, nothing can make that good. But the main reason that some of these stories stand above others is because they stand alone. They're not relying, they're not using the books as support to stay up. They're standing on their own two legs. And they don't have to say, okay, well, this little detail, you have to go look it up in the book to understand it. No, they're saying we are going to explain it in a way that you can follow it and it's not going to draw too much attention away from the main story. We're going to integrate it, explanations, integrate these explanations that make it so you're invested in the world. So yeah, a book needs to stand on its own, a movie based off a book needs to stand on its own, and then they can all coexist together. So what do you think about this? Am I right? Am I off base? We'll leave a comment if that's the case. And as always, thank you for watching. Cheerio and farewell.